Wildy. I'm Xenia. And as you guys know, we have this small, very cute YouTube channel about K-pop. And we really think of it. It's our family. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You guys are amazing and so yeah. unbelievable in the comments. And we love the debate that you kind of, you know, stir up on you. And so many insightful comments that we received recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so crazy. There's so many information in them. Like... Yeah, I c keep learning. <laughs> keep <laughs> yeah, learning. same, same. Thanks it's... for those. Thank you so much. And Yay. keep continuing to give us feedback. And probably, guys, you also, if you like K-pop, you also follow, kind of like follow other reaction channels and other K-pop yeah, channels. Yeah, are probably more famous than us. <laughs> Which is completely fine because here's the thing, those are the people that we kind of a bit look up to and in this channel update, <laughs> come on, in this channel update, uh, we kind of want to express our support to many of those big K-pop channels. Yeah, because you probably heard of what we call like a wave of copyright strikes recently uh, and actually big channels really big channels people who spent years and so much money and, and time and, and energy effort and they put so much effort into their channels and then they look professional and you really look forward for any updates and what happened to them is uh, it's a bit confusing and obviously we are not experts in Korean, you know, entertainment um, industry and like... But basically what happened, they just deleted, like, because of the copyright issues, so many accounts were deleted overnight. And uh, it's, we not to go into the details, what we would like to express here is, as international K-pop fans, and I have to tell you, I have my favorite channel when it comes to K-pop reactions, and we are not mainly K-pop reactions, but they are mm. more about Korean youth life and Korean, you know, and entertainment and just lifestyle content. It's just DK, DK, DK TV. Just Danny came and David came, which is kind of like they are same age as us, which is very funny. But they are two guys from Korea and they have an excellent English language channel. And the interesting thing is for international fans, for us, the insight that they can give is... It's like so much valuable. Yeah. Because there is no such thing as you can actually get it from anywhere else. And it's also So what do you normally do if you want to learn about Korea? So you probably just search it on YouTube. Okay, how do you do these things? How like how, how does it how does it look how the life is in Seoul? They have yeah. really, really good vlog. How to do run man with Kim <laughs> And how to do this and that and and when it comes mm. to Korean pop music and pop culture, obviously and Obviously, these yeah, channels valuable. these channels have a huge effect on the international fandom and to gain and to help this whole genre to gain visibility in different countries. And that's something that I think doesn't necessarily get pointed out so much. And it's obviously it's hard to quant like mm. quantify, mm. and maybe there is no tangible data supporting it. But I, when we do feel that, is just something. That without that, Korean popular culture wouldn't be this widespread. I think so. And what we would like to kind of uh, just express here that, for example, Billboard did an article mm. recently, I don't know if you read it or not, about like how Which translators, the, how translators and just the fandom in general can really push an artist. Oh, yes. And like yeah. their music and their output. And I think when it comes to K-pop reactors, they also contribute to this massively. Just yeah, the suggestions like, uh, that you get. What they do, they just spread something like specifically, like centered Korean, and mm -hmm. then they just spread it all over the world. And it's so interesting. Language, mm -hmm. then YouTube, like as a social media, and then it's there. Then it's like everywhere else. And, and like this is uh, all about how I got into K-pop. So. And many, if you guys watch our videos, not only me, I think. Yeah. Sorry. Exactly, like I mean, the reactions that we do, and you see, like our mm. fans are. Or friends what would you do if you'd like to show something, like show your interest, like as cable for your friends or family? What would you show them? Isn't it YouTube? And what's interesting, guys, uh, uh, like about this whole genre, that like many of our friends on our in this K-pop mm. academy that we did, when they mentioned like how they got into K-pop, it was YouTube, and many of them got in through reactors who reacted to you yeah. to K-pop. Because hello suggestions. Like you, suggestions usually works through friends. And on the internet, 
YouTubers are kind of your friends, the people who you follow and have a personal connection with. And if they react to something you like right. or you start to like, you start liking them, liking stuff because of them. So it's, I think their input is so valuable. And, and yeah, anyway, guys, we just really want to support you and say that we are with you. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get deleted. <laughs> no, 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 I don't um, think so. We'll, we'll yeah. be very careful. And, you know, when it comes to these amazing K-pop reactors and the K-pop online you, you community, especially mm. on YouTube, stay strong and we are with and you thanks, and let's thanks, support thanks, each other. And so thank much. you so much for your hard work because we look up to you guys. Yeah. And for our wonderful people watching us now, have a wonderful day. Much love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.